Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs once again. So one more interesting question people might ask you at a time of interview. This question is very famous actually, especially for the freshers or maybe for experienced people also at a time of interview, they might ask you. We have to compare two integer numbers and we will see the uh, concept of integer caching. So I have two numbers. Number one is equal to 100 and number two is equal to 100. They both are equal. And I'm comparing the references over here. I have taken these numbers, the type of integer type, integer type with the wrapper classes over here. I'm using it. So this is a reference and this is also a reference. And I'm comparing both the references. So generally in Java, what happens is that when we compare the two references, two object references, the uh, with the help of double equal to, it will always give you false, right? But what if, if I'm comparing these two numbers over here, 100 and 100 over here, in this case, what will be the output? So you just pause the video and write in the comment section what will be the output for this program. It will print both are equal or it will print both are not equal. So I'm going to run it and then you match your output accordingly. So run as a Java application. And here you see that, okay, both are equal. It means this number one and number two both are equal and it's not giving you false over here. Although you are using, still you are using double equal to over here with the object references. Now there is a trick. The trick is another concept is if I'm making, let's see some number like this 190 and 190, still they are equal to 190 and 190. And now I'm running this particular program. And then you see the output output is both are not equal, but for hundred, it was giving you equal, but for 190, it's giving you both are not equal. This is happening because of integer caching guys. What do you mean by integer caching? So because of the uh, integer caching, number one and number two, they both are auto boxed. So it will take the actual value of number one and number two. Hence the double equal to will return true over here, but it will return true only and only when you are giving a number integer caching range is minus 128 to positive 127. If you are giving a number within this particular range, then only it will return. Then only integer caching will happen. So now if you run this particular program, once again, it's saying both are equal. The moment you increase the range, let's say I'm writing 128 to 128. Once again, it means I'm comparing 128 to 128, which is out of the range. It will start giving you both are not equal. So this is a concept of integer caching. Same thing for negative numbers. Also, if you write, let's see minus 128 back to minus 128, which is within the range, it means integer caching will happen. Both the numbers will be auto boxed. It will take the actual value and the comparison will give you true over here. And that's why it's giving you both are equal. The moment you increase the value immediately. So let's see if I are uh, writing minus 129 over here and then you run it again. It's saying both are not equal because we are going out of the range. Okay. So remember this concept guys, if I write, let's see uh, 200 and here also, if I'm writing 200, once again, this is again out of the range, it will give you both are not equal. But if I'm writing once again within the range, let's see 90 and this is also 90. In this case, the number will be matched because of integer caching and uh, both the numbers will be auto boxed and then it will compare actual 90 with another actual 90 condition will be true and then it will give you both are equal. So this is the concept of integer caching in Java. Remember, this is a very, very famous concept based question at a time of interview, people might ask you. So thank you so much, guys. Thanks for watching this particular video. If you really like this video, please share with others. Please like it, subscribe to the channel. Till then, take care and God bless you all.